It is estimated that about one third of Uganda's population is out there living with tuberculosis bacteria, whether active or inactively. And the experts say this is a danger because there is a chance that it could develop from just an infection to a disease. Now what is uh, keeping it down without causing them disease is that they have a strong immunity. But any time you get a shake in your immunity, that germ can cause you TB disease. So Tuberculosis is a communicable disease that is a major cause of ill health, one of the top 10 causes of death worldwide and the leading cause of death from a single infectious agent. In 2018, 10 million people fell ill with TB. 484,000 people fell ill with multi-drug-resistant TB and 1.5 million people died of the same disease. Each day, over 4,000 people lose their lives to TB and close to 30,000 people fall ill with this preventable and curable disease. In Uganda, 86,000 people contract TB every year an average of 234 people per day. However, 58 million lives have been saved between 2000 and 2018 by global efforts to end TB. Dr. Stavia Turiahawe says Uganda's population still requires sensitization about the disease. About half of Ugandans don't know the signs and symptoms of TB and about 40% uh, of those who know the signs, who, who get signs and symptoms of TB do not go to seek care. Uh, meaning that they don't understand what they have, they see a cough, they take it uh, lightly, they go for, for, for medication at, at, at the nearest drug shop, a fever, they think it is malaria which is not going. Uh, we have not uh, put in enough effort to educate the public about the disease and this has caused people with the disease to stay in the community with the disease and continue transmitting the disease. And that largely has kept Uganda among the top countries in the world with a high HIV AIDS and TB burden despite the efforts of the health ministry to fight and eliminate the disease. We have reached about 76% uh, of these people and brought them into care and they have received uh, management. However, stigma, according to Dr. Turiahawe, is a huge hindrance to efforts of fighting TB, especially finding the infected people. Money should be spent on awareness so that awareness creates prevention. If people know, then they will stay away. If people know, then they will quickly go for treatment. If people know, then those who have it will not spread it because the families will know what to do. The health ministry made TB treatment free of charge so as to have the sick access drugs because it is curable. The TB will only get cured if you complete the six months as prescribed by the health worker. If you stop along the way, you'll get a rebound of the disease because the germs are just uh, dormantly there in the, in the lungs. They can still, if you, you stop the saturation of drugs in the blood, they can still come up and cause disease. The disadvantage with that is that they may cause you drug resistant TB. We expect that uh, of the 86 new people that we get with tuberculosis, about 1,500 may have drug resistant TB. And uh, the diagnosis I've said is through the use of the gene expert, which is available at the 238 facilities in the country. You just need to make sure your sputum gets there uh, through the hub system. Long time the treatment used to be the one year treatment, 12 months. We moved from that to six months. And the burden, the pill burden also went down. Because for those who are on preventive therapy, ideally they had to take a pill every day. That has now been again revised through research and evidence, and they will be taking a pill per week, which is manageable. If not well treated, it affects any other body parts. TB can affect bones, can affect the, the, the menings, meninges and causes you meningitis, it can affect the heart, it can affect the kidneys, any other part of the body. They have also put up a task force to track and find the active TB cases. Dr. Aldo Burua is the advisor of the program. Some people actually uh, have TB but they do not present to the symptoms of cough and a fever maybe, but they, they could be having weight loss and other night sweats and maybe fever. 
but don't have cough. So the health worker may not suspect TB in those uh, people. So uh, by orienting the healthcare workers and by uh, training them and providing them with the necessary tools to screen for TB, uh, we're empowering them. Common symptoms of active lung tuberculosis are cough with sputum and blood at times, chest pains, weakness, weight loss, fever, and night sweats. Walter Mwesije, NTV. Thank <music> you.